What are you doing? Nothing. All right. Boris, man, I know how hard it is dealing with what happened. I get how you're feeling right now. I know what it's like losing someone. My mom always said, try your best to remember the good memories you have with someone. Rather than to be sad that you're not together anymore. Boy, seriously, I just want to make sure you're okay. You're my guy. Yeah, I'm okay, Terry. I appreciate it. Okay, good. That's what I like to hear. Hey, looks like my time here is just about over. You sure you're okay handling the night shift? Yeah. Oh, so you taking your pills for the night? Come on, Boris. You need those pills. I don't want you calling me up at 3 a.m. in a panic attack saying you're seeing some weird crap outside of the store. Again. No, I don't need those pills, Terry. They make me nauseous. They make me want to vomit. Besides, I've got my radio. Here we go. I don't need those pills. Okay, all I, all I need is this radio right here. If I have this, I feel relaxed, I feel good. You don't gotta worry about it. All right. All right. You do you. Just call if you need anything. I'll take a pill if you start hallucinating again. I can't help you with that stuff. The pills can. Helen Boris. They'll find him killed her. Someone will. Again to split my heart in two and keep a little peace this time for you. I fail for all the love that I feel is far too great. I sent your favorite flowers to your door. Hey. Hey. I didn't mean to scare you. You okay? Yeah, I just, I didn't hear the doorbell ring. I'm fine though. I just, I'm either out of it or the doorbell's broken, I guess. Can I help you? you please turn that music off? It's giving me a, a headache. Yeah, I just like to have it on. It helps me with the condition that I have. Sorry. But I insist. Isn't the customer always supposed to be right? Uh, yeah, I can turn it down a little bit. Off. Right, off.
So you're here for gas? Not exactly. Well, if you're running low, I'd suggest filling up now. Not another gas station for another 30 miles. It would suck to break down out here. I'll keep that in mind. Get a lot of folks around here. Well, for a gas station in the middle of nowhere, I guess any customer is a good customer. Anyway. Something wrong? This newspaper is from six months ago. I'll, I'll get you a new one. No, no. This is the one I want. Tragic what happened to her. Such a gruesome death. And her boyfriend was there too. I remember. I had to watch the whole thing. It's everyone's worst fear, isn't it? Seeing someone they really love being ripped away from them for forever. When the story came out, it was all anyone around here talked about. You remember? I wish I didn't. How could you forget? Being forced to witness the love of your life. Being beaten to death right in front of your eyes. This isn't real. I'm sure you remember it like it was yesterday. It's not my fault. I know I do. Seeing two people in love. I could never pass up the opportunity to ruin something so pure for good. Stop. Stop talking. It didn't take me long to get the bat from my trunk. You'd be surprised how quickly human head turns the pulp after a few good swings. Stop! Stop talking! All those years of Little League finally paid off. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> it was beyond satisfying. Just her skull hitting the pavement. Can you hear it, Boris? The crack. Crack! It was like listening life. Leave her body. There was nothing I could do. <laughs> you know, I was planning to do the same to you, Boris. What? But you booked it as soon as I started swinging. You've always been a coward, haven't you? I mean, your girlfriend died all alone. You just left her. You didn't even make an attempt to help her. There was nothing I could do. Running at the first sight of danger. It's like you always do. What was I supposed to do? I mean, hell, you should be charged for her murder. Shut up! It's your fault that she's dead. No. It was all your fault, Boris. Now you're gonna end up just like your girlfriend. dead in the gutter. Nobody to love. Nobody to love you. I'm feeling like Mr. Lucky today. Oh god, it was just an hallucination.
Boris, you've been sleeping in the car all night? It's time to clock out. 